So this question comes up quite often. Is Phillip Island worth it? worth spending a day, a night, two days. So we're here in Phillip Island next to Melbourne. We arrived earlier today. <laughs> Surprisingly the weather is very very nice, probably 20, 22 degrees. A bit of wind. It's called Phillip Island. Um, if you're imagining uh, Southeast Asia island or those exotic islands, well it's not it. Just a piece of land. But it's more laid back, quiet, lots of nature as far as I can see. So we're gonna check a couple of restaurants, maybe some local beer. Later today we're gonna see the penguin parade. I'm looking forward, I heard there are hundreds if not thousands of penguins making their way when the, the dark settles in. So stick around, at the end of the video we will come with a conclusion. Is it worth it? First meal when you get here, team sushi. Pika sushi, sorry, pika sushi. Nice ramen. That is consistent during the travel is this portion Australia, New Zealand, white, red, rose, all around maybe 10 US dollars, sometimes less, sometimes it'll be more if you want a better one. It's something that <laughs> it's, it's a daily <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 
donation to people and clean up. Where would they work? Yeah, they were fine and then they were fine. Here? Yeah. I thought they were going to go seaside or something. No, they were seaside. Yeah. Really? Yeah, we went back. Then when you walk back, you can hear them. You can hear them. Yeah. These are all their nests. And that chicken there? So it's with them? Yeah, company. Yeah. Maybe the domestic helper. But why is there seagull over here? There are seagulls and the eggs. I think there's a penguin parade. And a kangaroo, yeah? So the penguin parade is basically you have more than a thousand penguins coming out of the water going to their nests which are very close to the to the shore. Now these penguins are the smallest of their species. They're tiny 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 um, probably 30 centimeters. They're blue and white and in order for them not to be recognized by predators um, they only come out at night when it's completely dark. So this happens probably depending on the season. The drive there is about 50 minutes from, uh, for example, cows in Phillip Island. Uh, there's ample free parking over there, so no, no issues. Um, it's better to go early so you can get the, the front seats. Now there are several types of tickets. I think the general viewing one is uh, $25 Aussie dollars per, per adult. They do have a couple of options closer to the penguins or they have some underground viewing option. Seeing the first batch of penguins coming out of the water, especially after probably was going to be an hour of waiting, it's indicated to get there to, to get better seats as, as I mentioned. Uh, it gets pretty full pretty fast and for example yesterday it was completely sold out so if you came without a booking an online booking you would be very disappointed so the, f the feeling especially if you haven't seen penguins in their natural habitat the feeling of seeing those first batch of penguins coming out of the water and typically they are probably around 10 a group of 10 so they come in groups because probably it's not fully dark um, it most likely happens like this they will come out of the water stop look left look right maybe a seagull will will come closer they will get scared go back into the water and they'll do this a couple of times until slowly one by one they march on the beach from from the water on the beach towards the land so from the water to the land is probably 30 meters okay and they do this dance back and forth for a couple of times and they're doing batches and because they're so tiny and because we're still far away the feeling of seeing them doing that it's it's absolutely amazing it shows once again that mother nature is incredible and 
you start to root for them and you 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 encourage them from your receipt and say go 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 before you come there you see the seagulls and you think they are so cute because they basically use the wind just to float but when the penguins arrive the seagulls are your worst enemy and maybe you start cursing the seagulls and get away from it get away from it so it can get very cold very fast because it is the breeze the sea breeze um, it's not always cold but it's often cold but the wait is worth it you're probably gonna wait for an hour as i said um, i definitely recommend this for once in a lifetime experience if you are in philip island so to answer the question is it worth it definitely yes